show. Ben from Timberwood Park has a question about an attic loft. Yeah, he's framing his out to create this little uh, honey of a uh, kind of a loft bedroom kind of space up there. And Very cozy. Ben writes, ben writes, we have, as you can see, a window unit up there. But it I gets unbearably yes. hot in the summertime because there isn't insulation enough to keep the air cool. I started insulating some R19 bats stapled to the rafters. I've not used baffles because there are no vented soffits or ridge vents. I haven't packed the insulation in tight, so there will be space between the insulation and the roof deck. Let me take you to the picture of this again, Tom. He wants to know, do you think that that's all right? First off, we need to finish the room. So yes, that's fine to start, but we need to have, if you notice those little two by four studs coming down, that's gonna mm -hmm. create a wall. That wall system has to be in place. The roof system has to be in place. The insulation gets in place. The floor has to be finished and in place. And then what happens is you sheet rock it, you put a floor covering in, and then you determine what kind of load you're gonna have. If you're trying to cool this thing all opened up like that with a window unit, it's never gonna work. And you, that window unit probably isn't big enough to handle it anyway. So you're gonna have a heck of a load on that and you can only insulate it so much, which means up the tonnage. Let's get some air conditioning in there when the room is finished. You'll never know if it's gonna work until it's finished. And then you have to put the air conditioning in that's gonna, the air conditioning system in that's large enough to handle the load. And you can have spaces like that. People do it all the time. It's not the energy efficient space being up in the, in the attic at the very high point in, in a Houston home, so, or in a Texas home for that matter. Uh, so it's gonna be a challenge with your air conditioning system, but it's not impossible. You can make a freezer out of it if you want. Finish the room, plan for a different air conditioner. You're gonna do all that work on the room you're probably gonna need at least a bigger window unit, uh, enough tonnage, I don't know how many square foot or, feet are in there, but if I did, I could help. But remember this, uh, 500 square feet enclosed for a typical well-insulated place is one ton of cooling. And when you're dealing with uh, window units, it's 12,000 BTUs equals one ton. So I don't know how many square feet, but you can figure it out. It obviously doesn't have a high ceiling and you're gonna need the tonnage to handle it, especially in the super hot summer, which is August, September. To me, Tom, I look at this picture and it screams out for a ductless uh, unit hanging in there, probably deliver a lot more cooling than a window unit ever would, wouldn't it? A higher quality cooling too. The answer is yes, depending how big you need it. But you know what screams to me, this is how different you and I are in that room, a window. That is a torture chamber at best up there as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, we didn't, he didn't Give say, me a window. <laughs> he didn't say who he was putting in there. And <laughs> uh, maybe it's a dark room. I don't know what's maybe. going on up there, but right. I need a window. Yeah, I'm with you. All right. Okay. You need a, and if you need an answer, all you got to do is go there to homeshoreyo.com, click on the blue Ask Tom button, fill out the form, send it in, give us pictures and, and videos and things like that, and we will give you an answer because we like to do them every day. Tom enjoys helping people out, sharing the years of experience he has in the building and his degree in architecture. That's what we're here for. And you'll find his answers posted a new one daily at homeshoreyo.com, our Facebook page, and you'll see lots of them over on our YouTube channel.